So, hello fellow Earthlings. This is Earthling 645546-3728. And I wanted to give my opinions, uh, my opinion with respect to uh, Prince Harry and him looking for support from his father because his father went through something similar and uh, why that might not be the case. Um, that they did go through something that was very similar. Anyway, uh, as usual, I am Earthling, yada, yada, yada. I am a former uh, Army Reservist. I have a couple degrees. I traveled a little bit in the before times. And um, that's it for me. So, of course, um, the big topic of late um, has been uh, Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan. They came out, or they had an interview that was aired recently. And in the interview, Prince Harry would have said, and maybe Meghan, that there was a, a rift between him and his father and his brother. And he would have thought otherwise, because in a way they all had gone through this before with respect to the to the undue attention from the press that his mother and father and their a marriage would have received when he was a kid. So that when he this happened with respect to him, he thought that he would be able to expect some support from his father, um, seeing as, you know, he may have had a similar experience. And he said that he felt like he didn't and there was a time when when Prince Charles stopped taking his calls which I'm sure would have been horrible and would only have precipitated this the whole idea that they left um, Britain to live in the US and I wanted to point out some of the things that to me would have been different between um, his marriage and his parents' marriage that might have been the reason why his father perhaps could not give him the support that he wanted. Among those reasons is, number one, that Megan, for example, is from a different culture. She is American. Whereas Princess Diana, of course, was at least English, I believe, or British. So Prince Charles may not quite see um, someone who is similar to Princess Diana in Meghan Markle and in his himself and his son in choosing to marry Meghan. Of course, additionally, I think it was that there was like a 12-year age difference between Prince Charles and Diana, which meant that they would see the world in uh, quite different ways. And one really wonders how close they really might have been or how, yeah, how much each of them saw a kindred spirit in the other. When you have that kind of age difference, uh, I think that one expects that there would be, and I think the statistics uh, bear that out, that there tends to be a much higher uh, divorce rates among people with such a wide disparity in ages in, their, in, in couples like that. Whereas with respect to Meghan and Harry, there is just a three-year difference in between them. So it is much more likely that they would see the world in a, a more similar vein. And they would have similar attitudes. Of course, as we now know, and Prince Charles is in fact married to Camilla, um, there is no third party with respect to uh, Charles, Diana, and Camilla that would have happened from the, before they even got married. There was that three-way um, 
love triangle from the get-go that would have been a uh, poisonous factor can you say that in in Charles and Diana's relationship that there was always this other person that I think that Charles felt that he couldn't get married to because maybe Camilla had been previously divorced or something along those lines but then I guess that set a precedent once he got married to her this time now which is what I think Harry has followed because I think Megan is a divorcee as well uh, beyond um, the different in age the different in nationality is the fact that Megan was successful in her own right before she ever met Harry she was famous I mean not Brad Pitt a list famous but she was on a show that was a pretty successful show I used to watch suits myself and I knew who she was when she was getting married and she would have had a, a successful a relatively successful career on meeting Harry when they decided to get married so there was already something there where he could be he could feel in a way that he was looking at someone who was something of a peer not simply a commoner per se exactly someone who was already in the limelight even if they didn't have the kind of pressures that were were on people like in the royal family so th those are you know a couple of ways of course uh, that their marriages um, like Diana and Prince Charles and Meghan and Harry's would be significantly different and it would be I don't think that you know as a result of that at least um, Prince Charles would not it would have been more difficult for him to see um, himself in their marriage as well as the fact that you know looking at the situation Prince Charles probably figured that when he got married to Diana uh, that he well he was he was not following his heart per se and getting with Camilla and he doesn't see that his son is doing that finding the right person you know some um, commoner English commoner of somewhat noble blood I think that Diana had a title or father had a title or something like that also being the second son and you know uh, his first son uh, already having a wife that everybody is okay with in Kate Middleton um, having kids that everybody was okay with um, I guess in many ways in looking at Harry he would not exactly have been looking at his first choice in terms of a son I mean I, I don't know Prince Harry I mean Prince Charles himself I, I haven't followed him as a person and I don't even didn't really live um, for any extended period of time with my father but you know based on the way that my younger siblings would sometimes react I guess there would have been a lot of talk or if not a lot a lot of meaningful um, references to myself and my father may have brought up when he was discussing his eldest son and unfortunately that however unfortunate it is that might have been or might be the case with respect to Prince Prince Charles and his you know his second son it might not it might not be the case that he respects Harry quite as much which is unfortunate but you know that might be the case of course I didn't directly want to bring it up but 
Megan is, at the very least, biracial. You know, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know the exact uh, racial heritage of both her mother and father. We presume that her father is pure white, and that her mother is at least somewhat black. Um, so there is that as well. That you know, Prince Charles may see that as a a huge. Um, difference between himself and um, Harry in that for Harry and for Harry's generation it might not have mattered I mean I'm, I'm sure that he is he or he would note that at least Harry you know married someone who was more Caucasian looking can we say that? But just any kind of vestiges, the presence of of Megan's mother at all, um, some of the fact that um, you know the slight controversies one might say with respect to her father and with respect to her step siblings or half siblings. I mean, between those things as well. I guess there would be some discrepancies as well. But, yeah, overall, these are, to me, they are major, uh, major discrepancies or major differences between um, these couples, um, Charles and Diana and Harry and Meghan, that might make it very difficult for his father to see himself in them and be able to offer um, any kind of, of support. It's sad to say, but he might just find that his second son, his younger son, is just too different from him for him to be able to relate and have a, a strong relationship with which of course is very unfortunate, but you know, the positive thing is that at least Megan being American, they could go to the US um, to live. And, and that's really great as far as I'm concerned. I think it's fantastic that they had somewhere else to live. As a, I mean, if, if this were happening and both of them were British, it wouldn't be necessarily the easiest of things for them to simply go live somewhere else. Uh, even someone who's royalty, I don't think they can just pick another country and say, I want to live there. Like, And the people in that country, the laws in that country would allow them, even, you know, members of the royal family. So anyway, that's my two, three, four cents. So feel free to like, dislike, comment, subscribe, share, any of that stuff. Same way you would like if um, I were to do that for you. Have a good one. Peace.